Hello and welcome. Today we will talk about detached head state. So we will understand what is a detached head state, what can be the problem with the detached head state, and how we can come back to the normal uh, head state. Let's first understand what is detached head state. So we have a branch. Let's suppose we have a feature branch. Feature branch, and we are uh, making some commits. And when we make a commit, we have a head that points to the latest commit on the branch. For example, we will have a head pointer that will point to the latest commit on that branch. If we make another commit, for example, now this head will move to the latest commit and it will appear and point to the latest commit, and we won't be having the pointer to the uh, old commit so if you make another commit now the pointer will move forward and it will point to the latest commit and we won't be having the pointer here so the latest commit will be uh, we can reference the latest commit with the head the head points to the latest commit and it also gives the reference to the branch right it also gives the reference to the branch that this this commit is uh, is related to this branch right and if we make another commit then the same process we will have the, the head pointer pointing to the latest commit now what is detached head? for example if we check out a commit right if we check out a commit let's say this commit if we check out this commit then the pointer the head pointer will not be pointing to the latest commit rather it will be pointing to the checked out commit so now the pointer will point towards the checked out commit and this state this state in which the pointer the head pointer is not pointing to the latest commit is called a detached head state right? it's a the head has been detached from this latest commit detached head state now we understand what is a detached head state when a head pointer is not pointing to the latest commit now this pointer is not actually giving us the information of the branch right because the head has been detached and if we make any commit in this state for example now we have checked out this commit right and let's say the SHA of this commit is one zero f six seven v uh, random number I just chose. So, if we make any commit here, if we make any commit here, or if we make any commit here, so, so there is a possibility that these commits can be lost. So, what we can do to preserve these commits, we should make a branch. We should create a branch and we can preserve these commits. So, now with the help of Git Kraken, I will show you how it works, and then that will be easier for you to understand. So now we know what is a detached head and now let's see using the git kraken how we can uh, we can produce this case there okay so now let's try to produce that case let's try to first uh, create a detached head state and then we will see what can be the problems with the detached head state so now we have different commits here so this is the first commit and either we can check out this commit or we can check out this commit this commit contains Two files. Let's check out this one. This is this is an easier commit, and we only have one file. So I will right click and I will say check out this commit. Now, as you can see, my head pointer is pointing here. And now let me commit something in the he detached head state. So I will go to the file. I will say this is detached head state. Just one line. And I will save this. I will save this. Now, here I can see one file change in the working directory. I will view the change. As you can, as you can see here, a message that you are in a detached head state. Why we are in a detached head state? Because this commit, uh, we checked out this commit, and this commit is right now not belonging to any branch. Yeah, it is belonging to a branch, but since we have checked out, so it doesn't belong to any branch so what we can do um, okay let's let's change this file 
and let uh, and let's make a commit. So we say detach had commit, right? And I can commit. So now I am in a detached head state. So this commit is a detached head commit, right? Okay. So what is the problem? What can be the problem? Now, if I check out any branch, for example, if I check out master, now you must notice that when I will check out this master, I will lose this detached head commit, right? So let me check out this master branch. And as you see, I have checked out my master branch, but I don't have the detached head commit anymore. So this is a problem. This, this is something which we need to take care of. That if we are in a detached head, head state and if we are committing something and if we check out any other branch, then we will lose all our work. Now, what can be the solution of this? Let's produce the detached head state once again. Now, let's make the commit, the same commit. I'll say detached head state. Okay. Let me save and commit this file. Save. Once again, giving me the information that uh, and it's also giving me the tooltip if you can see it says that if you check out another branch or commit you might lose any commits created in detached head state as we just saw so now let's change this file and say detached and commit and let's commit this file now how we how i can preserve this information I must create a branch, right? I have an option that create create branch here. So I will create a branch and I will say, for example, this was a hotfix. This was a production hotfix. So and I will create the branch with the name of hotfix one. Now my detached head commit is a part of a branch and now it is safe. Now if I check out any other branch, let's say that we master now my detached head commit is still there because my detached head commit uh, is not a hanging commit anywhere it now it it's linked to a branch and uh, i can use this branch to merge or to rebase or whatever i want to. so this was about the detached head state and what can be the possible problems and how we can how we can solve the problem so that's it for this lecture and i will see you in next lecture. thank you